Back to that high hazard dam story in Ypsilanti. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith speaking with people in the area who say they don't want to see it go. In the 1900s, we tamed Mother Nature. Dams like this one, the Peninsular Paper Dam, popped up all over our state. Now there's questions of how much damage it's done. Once upon a time, we loved dams. <laughs> it, when, when did that change? Yeah, I think over time, uh, as you know, the research has evolved, as our understanding about dams has evolved, we've really begun to understand you're essentially creating a wall across a naturally flowing water body that fundamentally alters the ecosystem. Sure, the geese don't seem to mind, but to get the full picture, you have to go under the surface. Dams cause sediment buildup. It changes both the flow of the river and where fish travel. As Dan Brown explains, this dam, like hundreds more along our local watersheds, has done more harm than good. Removing a dam, generally speaking, is one of the best things you can do to restore the health of the river. The problem is that costs money, an estimated 2.7 million. And that Band-Aid fix, that costs more than 800,000. But for some, that fix could keep a bit of nostalgia alive. Every time I go by it, I just kind of smile. You know how you see stuff and you just kind of smile and brings back memories. You take bets on what color the river was going to be that day by what color paper they were making that day. It'd be green and it'd be red. Yes, there was a time this river looked very different. To remove it would cause yet another facelift. The plans, Dan notes, wouldn't change the historic building next to the waterfront. I'd rather see it left, but if it's going to cost so much to repair it every few years, it doesn't make a lot of sense put in a lot of money into repairs. You know, any dam removal is tough. Uh, it brings a lot of challenges. It brings a lot of change to an area, so it can be scary. So what exactly is going to happen with this dam? Does it stay or does it go? In the end, it'll really be up to the people who live here. And then we'll find out in the coming weeks or months what that decision was. For now, in Ypsilanti, I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.